Okay, uh, tests that we do on the friend, uh, we do uh, thi thyroid testing, uh, PSA, and testosterone testing. And it, it all goes into this machine here. Now you have a special pipette to do the, the tests on the friend, and this is the pipette, and it needs to be set always on 35.0. It should never vary from that. If it gets turned accidentally, then this is how you turn it back is with that little knob and then with the pipette you put the little tip on it so you have a tip on there and when you um, push on the plunger so you can push down all the way you'll feel one stop and then you can go down further so uh, when you go to aspirate say out of a tube you want to push down all the way then aspirate and then when you inject into either a cassette or a vial you push down to the first stop and then inject then you want to uh, put the rest of it back into the tube okay we're going to run a TSH now you want to pull the cassette out um, and leave it out of the fridge about the same time as it takes to spin down your blood. So you want to warm up your cassette. So you take the cassette out of the foil wrapper, and if you're blind, you put your glasses on. Okay, you take your pipette, put your tip on it, and then you've already spun down your blood, and you draw it in a serum separator tube. So you spun it down and the serum rises to the top like cream. So you want to take one pipette full of serum so you, you push all the way down and then let it release all the way up. Okay, now you want to put one pipette into the cassette so there's a hole right here and you push down to the first stop and you're filling that with the serum. Then you put the rest of the serum back in the tube. Okay, now you're going to run your test. So you go into, you, you push test, then you push patient. And for the sake of HIPAA, we're, I, the first and last name is going to be test test. So you put in the first initial and the last name and then the birth date. And then you hit OK. And then you put in your cassette and it sucks it in. Okay, so when the test is complete, it'll spit out the cassette and then you can hit print and it'll print out the result. And there is your result. So it has your name, t-test, birth date, and the result. Okay, we're gonna run a free T4. Now this is a little different than the TSH. You have this machine, uh, it's called the Friend AP. It's a mixing machine and so what it does um, you put your cassette and your vial in there. It mixes the specimen uh, in the vial and then it drops the sample, it incubates it, and then it spits out the cassette and then you can run it in here just like you do with the TSH. So you've taken your cassette and your vial out, that's your vial, and you've taken them out of the fridge long enough as it that it takes to spin down your blood. Um, and then you're going to open the cassette, or open the machine. You're going to put your cassette in, and then you're going to push the button. And then you're going to get two pipettes of serum and put it in the vial. So you're going to push down all the way and then you're going to push down to the first stop and then you're going to push down all the way again 
go to the first stop, put your lid on, put it in the hole right there, and then push the button. Okay, so now it's going to mix the specimen, uh, drop it onto the cassette, and then incubate it. Okay, so when it's done, it'll go beep, 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 and it will open up. Okay, and then you'll put in your information. So you'll go into patient, and then T, test, and then the birth date. And then you insert the cartridge. Okay, so once it's done, it'll spit out your cassette. You've got your result right there, and then you hit print and it prints it out right there. So it has your patient identifiers and your result. Okay, we're gonna run a PSA. So you take out your cassette, you let it warm for as long as it takes to spin down your blood. So you rip the top off, take it out, and you put a tip on your pipette. And then you're going to aspirate one pipette of serum and then you're going to put it in the hole and you're going to inject down to the first stop and you're going to put the rest down all the way you're going to put the rest of the serum back in to the tube okay now we're going to run the test so you hit test and then you hit patient and then your patient identifier, which is going to be T-test. And then your birth date. And then hit OK. And then put your cassette in. Okay, so when the test is done, it spits out your cassette, and then it has the result right there. So you hit print, and it prints it off over here, and you have, again, your patient identifiers, name, uh, birth date, and then your result. Okay, we're gonna run a testosterone, and so you have your cassette and your vial, and you pull them out um, and let them warm while your blood is spinning. And so you open up your package, pull them out. So you're gonna use this AP mixing machine that we talked about with the free T4. And so you open the drawer and it tells you to insert the cartridge. Cartridge. to put two pipettes into the vial. So you've opened your vial. You're going to aspirate two pipettes down to the first stop. Aspirate all the way down. Inject down to the first stop. And put the remainder back into the tube. And then you're going to put that in there, push the button. So then this is going to mix your, your sample, and it's going to drop the sample onto the cassette, and then it's going to incubate. Okay, so when it's done, it'll go beep, 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 and the drawer will open, and then you'll take that out. And then you will run the test in here, so patient, and then T test, first initial, last name, and then date of birth, 958 old, and then hit OK, and then run your 
run your test. Okay, so when the test is done, it will spit it out, uh, and you have the result right here. And so you can print that, and it prints out right here, and you've got your patient identifiers. Always have to have two patient identifiers, and then your result.